What up, everybody? It's Fletcher Stone. Welcome back to Portal 2. Look at all these turrets. Look at them all. They're pathetically similar. Anyway, let's carry on for science. Right. I don't remember how to do this. Ah! Not really sure why I thought that would work. But, we have a box! Now, if we had a box within that box, things could get very creative. Okay, that did something, not sure what. Oh yeah. What do I need that for? How dare you look at me! <laughs> That's still funny. At least to me, anyway. Don't know if it is to you. If not, get a better sense of humor. Ah, I remember now. I do. I remember now. I don't remember how to get up there. Damn it, Box, you had one job! You had one goddamn job. And that was to just fly over there and be a box. But no. Oh, well, that worked. Now I just have to get myself over there. Um, anyone got any advice? Shit. I forgot. And I just threw the box up there! <laughs> Damn it! I need a box to knock down that box. God damn it! I am not starting this episode off very well. This is just... It's disastrous. Okay. There's both boxes. Good. I don't remember what I do from here. Now, I do know I need the box over there to redirect the beam over here, because then I use it to blow up the turrets and then connect it to there. Now, what I don't remember is how I get up there from down here. Now, the most I can think of is use the box like a step stool. Let's see if it works another way. Now, I know what you're thinking, but wait, shouldn't you have the other laser positioned already? No, because I know how this laser needs to be positioned. Which means, I can go out of my way to position the secondary laser. 
God fucking tell you fat ass motherfucking bitch get up there you epic cunt bag <laughs> okay Okay, hang on. A plan be formulating. Yay! <laughs> okay. That's about the direction it needs to go. It looks okay, therefore it must be okay. Now, let's take one of these cubes an unimportant cube, we'll, we'll name it Doug. Whew! Did y'all see that? Uh, as pro skill. Okay. Now, as far as I can tell, it's lined up the way it... Cube, you just, you couldn't work with me even a little bit, could you? You just had, had to make a liar out of me. Damn emotionless cubes. You will never be companion cube. Now they're gonna make me do this again. All right, we know the drill. We ow ow. Okay, that was my own stupidity. No one is to blame but me. Oh, God. And I came up with a solution that I honestly think works out best for one of both of us. I don't care, Gladys. We broke up. Leave me alone. Uh, that's some good Mountain Dew right there. This episode is not sponsored by Mountain Dew, but if you're listening, hey, I drink more Mountain Dew than I should. Regulations require me to warn you that this next test chamber is looking pretty good. That's right. The facility is completely operational again. Yep. Yeah. Seriously, though, I, I do drink way too much Mountain Dew, and it's actually, uh, not a very good thing for... thing for me. You know. You really shouldn't drink too much Mountain Dew. It, it, it's actually, uh, a lot of issues can come off that, you know, some, some health health problems. A lot of health problems, guys. It can cause issues to your kidneys. Oh, there's one. Two. And three. I'm a god with lasers. What the fuck? Do you guys hear that? <laughs> There's more turrets singing somewhere. I think these test chambers <gasps> look companion cubes. Than they did before. It was easy, really. 
You just have to look at things objectively. See what you don't need anymore. Companion and cubes. It was a whole tube of them. You know, it is honestly um, incredible how the companion cube rose up to be like one of the greatest video game partners ever, despite not saying anything. After this next test. Not a fake tragic surprise like, like last time. A real surprise with tragic <laughs> consequences. And real confetti this time. The good stuff. Our last bag. Part of me is going to miss it. But at the end of the day, it was just taking up space. But, but like, seriously, seriously. I mean, let, let's take away uh, from this for a second and just, you know, honestly take a minute to realize that the companion cube, a cube, rose to be the, like, highest rated video game companion What's going on? Ever. Hey, buddy, I'm speaking in an accent that is beyond her range of hearing. Look, Metal Ball, I can hear you. Run, I don't need to do the voice. Run! Run! Whoa! Come on, come on! Run, come on, I'm closing the doors. Okay, quick recap, we are escaping. All right, that's what's happening now, we're escaping. Yay! Right, just keep running. Uh, quick word about the future plans that I've got in store. We're gonna shut down her turret production line, all right? Turn off her neurotoxin and then keep running. Again, though, for the moment, run! <laughs> Running. Is you are almost at the last test. Here it is. Why don't you just do it? Trust me, it's an easier way out. Than okay. Seriously, me. I I know this is a trap, but I There's just want the achievement. You probably can't see it. Get like I knew it was a trap. I just honestly wanted the achievement for it, so I can get things from Steam later when I need them. You know. But. I mean, honestly, a lot of characters from this game became really, like, really well known, despite not really doing much. More cutscenes! More loading! Yay! <laughs> All of this for science. Whoa. Ow. Which way do I go? Oh, portal gun. Duh. Um, where's a portable wall? There it is. You're okay. Great. Come on. This way. This way. You know what? Not all of us can slide along a management rail, buddy. Okay, what? Blue. I guess it doesn't rightly matter. No, 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 no. Either way, they're falling out of a hole, so... I guess it really doesn't matter which portal I shot, I just overthought it for nothing. God, this facility is fucking huge. Okay, seriously. Uh, on top of... On top of, like, Companion Cube not saying anything and becoming a great character... After this noise is done. God, this is so loud for me. I hope it's not too loud for you guys. Okay, but seriously. Like... Look at how big Aperture is, and then let's take a minute and, and you know, realize that Aperture and Black Mesa, if, for anybody who's played Half-Life and Half-Life 2, you know all about Black Mesa. Now, they exist in the same universe, 
And let's just take a moment to realize these two competing companies completely destroyed the planet. Like, honestly, with the amount of test subjects that Aperture has killed... But, sir, like, with the amount of test subjects Aperture has killed, and the amount of science that Black Mesa has done that destroyed shit, they are literally the ones who destroyed everything. They say at night, you can still hear the screams of their replicas, all of them functionally indistinguishable from the originals. No memory of the incident. Nobody knows what they're screaming about. Absolutely terrifying. Wheatley, can, can, you, can you give me some light? Please? Or am I supposed to go this way? Okay, then. Somewhere. <laughs> I think it is you Wait, who needs careful, to keep up with me. This okay, this looks dangerous. I'll hold the light steady. Oh, nicely done. So, you know, the game actually tells you that it takes six sheets Wait, of metal to make one weighted cube. You bastard. I count that as not my fault. I really do count that as not my fault. Wait, careful. Let me light this jump for you. Anyway, this did take up a lot of time, so I think once I get to the next area, that's where we will call this. And, uh, you know. That'll be that. Quick, this way. Here's an interesting story. You might like this. I almost got a job down here in manufacturing, but uh, <laughs> guess who the foreman went with? Only an exact duplicate of himself, nepotism. Ended up giving me the worst possible job, tending to all the smelly humans. The, the, um, sorry, that's, uh, no, I wouldn't say smelly. Just, uh, just tending to the humans. Sorry about that. That just, that just slipped out. A bit sensitive. Uh, the smelly humans. Did I go the right way? Wheatley? Oh. Duh. We've got to get you out of that room! Can you reach that wall back there? Tell you. Humans? Oh, love them. <laughs> Just the way they look. It's great. Jesus, the walking around in this game. Folklore. Wonderful, very colorful. Uh. Alright, come on, come on. Right. Well, I'm gonna take this rail down the back way. See the bomb. Good luck. Be careful. Bam. Cuz I am just that awesome. Okay. Now. Ah, yes. Ah. All right, and this should be it. Okay, yes. So, Ladies and gentlemen, that is where we're going to call it for this episode of Portal 2. I hope that you guys are honestly enjoying this series because I'm having a blast playing it. But, until then, don't forget to drop me a like, leave me your thoughts down there in the comments section, 
And until the next time, be sure to share it around with your friends so this way they can see the video and get in on the series. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. We'd love to have you here. We don't judge. Just bring some love to the channel, you know what I mean? But until the next time, everybody, I'm Fletcher Stump with Radioactive Inc. signing out. Thank <music> you.